Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. Today we're going to be talking about upscaling in Vegas. So, uh, specifically AI upscaling, what it is, why you do it, and how it works. So, uh, it's a pretty simple process, um, but first I want to explain that. Let's remove it real quick. Uh, this is an old video of me and a friend of mine, and we are... I'm eating a sandwich. That's me from a long time ago with crazy hair. So, this video is only 720p. Uh, so you can see here, it's actually, if you look at the display size, um, I can get it a little smaller to match. It's 720 by 480. So it would roughly be about this size, which means it's about a fourth the size of the screen itself. That's actually the size of the video. Anything bigger than this is actually adding pixels. So these pixels aren't big enough. You can start seeing the pixels themselves. They're not really big enough to create the image. Um, so where that comes in is you can go to your video effects and go to upscale. Now, a lot of people will be tempted to do like most effects and drag it onto the clip, but the best way to do it for uh, this kind of effect, uh, this kind of pre-processing effect, is go to your project media, right click the video itself and go to properties. No, sorry, not properties and go to media effects. When you go to media effects, you'll get a list of all the effects. We're going to select upscale right here and hit add and okay. So when we do that, you can see it's already uh, adding it, but the scaling is right now at one, which means it's not adding any pixels. We can do it to twice the size. I'm gonna go to four times the size because four times the size would actually be 1080p. So um, it's got a smooth one right now but we're going to go to the sharp model and uh, with the sharp model here, uh, you can see it actually kind of crisp up the video a little better. Uh, so when it's larger, it has more pixels. This isn't really a sharpening method. This isn't something you would do to the video to like, to like artificially sharpen it. This is a way of making it larger. So when it shows up, you just have smaller pixels to work with. So your other effects that are adding onto it will work or, or, or display more pixels too, as those, as you're layering things or working with other video. Um, so with this upscaling, you can see if I take it away, it's a little blurrier, especially you can see with my backlit hair and stuff, uh, when I add it back, it gives a lot more Christmas to the video because it's really, it's just like a mosaic. It's just adding more pixels, uh, which is helping the video uh, get larger um, with without a significant quality loss. And like I said, this is four times the size. You can see it change quality as I grow it. Um, so what Smooth would do is Smooth is more worried about uh, trying to smooth the colors. The noise is more worried about trying to get rid of the codecing information. Give it a second for Vegas to load, um, which you'll see is smoother kind of blacks right here. Uh, but then with the sharp, sharp is most likely what you're going to want to use. Sharp is more about keeping your crisp lines, which is an older video like this with these old lenses and things that typically is what you want, uh, what helps the most. And you can see that the most here with these power lines in uh, my hair. So uh, this cutout section here, it can be keyframed, but that's a topic for another video. You can actually zoom in and cut out pieces of video as well. Uh, with this effect, we're not going to do that. I'm gonna zoom back out because uh, this is actually a small video that needs to have more pixels. But there are situations where you have a video that's got plenty of pixels, but you want to crop it and add more pixels back. So like get rid of the, like re-add the pixels you're getting rid of by cropping it. Um, so that's an option for this, but it's not something we need for this effect right now. So uh, this is kind of a taxing effect. Um, I can, I have this clip already brought down here, which is why you can see it working. But again, remember you add it to the project media itself, which is a little different than normal. Um, and when you do that, uh, you're ready to go, but this, this, it will be a little taxing, uh, on your video editor to, to leave it like this. A lot of times it's better to go ahead and render it out. Now you can render it out as a lossless codec. You can watch my codec video, uh, if you'd like for this one though, I'm going to go ahead and render it out as an MP4, something good that would keep the quality, um, but not necessarily be too large. Um, and then if I render it out at 1080p, 
that will get the full use of the pixels I added back to it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit render here. And there you go. You can see it rendering out with the uh, extra pixels added in. And it shouldn't change the video a lot. So like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.